Hello, my name is Sean White. I'm here today with my group Jack McCarthy, Paul Bard, Kevin Fenley and Rodney Badger and today we are going to go through our new product, the Fairway Pro. Never stop. Uh, for our design we went for a three wheel kind of scooter look, similar enough to the Cool Plates model. Um, we went for a two speed engine for all terrains from going from car to course. Uh, we decided to go for a foldable kind of design just so it's easy for easy transportation in cars and whatever other methods you would use. And we went for a built in state of the art golf bag, just like the major golf bags that are on the, uh, on the market at the moment. All pockets are front facing for easy access. And we've incorporated an easy to use hand travel for accelerating and decelerating the cart. These have all been combined to, uh, to contribute to an effortless golfing experience. So you can see straight away on the mood board where we got our inspiration for the brand. We got our logo from the first image. We looked at some competitors for some of design ideas, the off-road reels for the golf terrain. And we also looked at uh, longboarding as a source of inspiration for the fun nature that we're looking for in our brand as well. So the actual logo, the focal point is the golf ball on the tee. So that's essentially the start of every game, the start of every journey. The circle that seals um, the logo, that's uh, represents just flow and movement. And it has no ends, just like um, our slogan, never stop. It's a simplistic, uh, no nonsense, straight to the point logo. And now we'll leave you with Kevin to talk about the target market. Yep. So the segment of the market we've chosen to target is those senior golfers, 50 to 80 years of age. This is a loyal consumer base of golfers, representing 36% of the total market of golfers. These are less tech oriented than the younger golfers out there. So our basic, simplistic and accessible product we feel will be best suited to them. Also a major part of our product is that never stop, the mobility aspect of our product. And this is most applicable to maybe those older golfers who are a bit, a bit more stiff going around the golf course than they once were. So now we're looking at a specific consumer persona of this market, we look at Betty. Betty is an example of what our market will look like. She's an avid golfer, she plays twice a week with her friends, uh, enjoys a day at the course, plays 18 holes and maybe stops for a bit of lunch afterwards and talks with the local goings on. But for Betty it's become increasingly more difficult to play a full 18 holes. Four hours on the, uh, on the golf course is taxing for anyone, especially when maybe you're not as young as you once were. Uh, she would love to play with her grandson, who's recently picked up the sport, but she's afraid she's slowing down. Here's where her product will get in, allowing Betty to never stop playing golf and to start playing golf with her grandson. And I'd like to on to Paul, who'll be looking at our competitors in the space. Yeah, so there's many competitors in the industry. First of all, there's the golf buggy. Um, golf buggy are very expensive, could cost up to 15,000 euro to buy. Uh, you can also rent my golf courses again for just one round can cost up to 70 euro. Um, they're very short supply, uh, only two max for a golf course, um, also with other golf courses not even having any at all. Um, as well as that they make the game of golf very inefficient, um, if there's four people in a, in a buggy and, and every shot has to be followed so they can make the game of golf very tedious and long. Um, then there's electro cart, electric cart again is very similar to the golf buggy but it's just one um, seat. Uh, it's very high cost again, about 1,500 euro. It has built in features like GPS so golfers can measure how long they hit the golf ball for. Um, again, we feel like this product is too expensive for older age golfers. Uh, then there's Power Caddy, Mole Caddy. Both of these have electric push, so um, a very expensive again. Uh, they do have the built in GPS's, but uh, older age golfers will again have to walk with this device, with this caddy. Um, and then there's budget caddies. Uh, definitely not suitable for older age golfers. Um, they're low cost, but they're very basic. They've got no electronic push, so older age golfers have to push and pull their golf bags around, which are very heavy, or which, which are very heavy, which is definitely not suitable for older age golfers. Uh, we're positioned just under the model caddy. Um, we feel like we're very, very priced at 199 euro. Um, quality, price, and the features of not having to not having to worry about walking when play golf is back perfect for older age golfers. So they will pass around to Jack who will go through the marketing campaign. So with regards to our marketing campaign, social media is not going to be too relevant due to the older target market we've selected. Instead, we're going to be using more traditional forms of advertising. Firstly, we're going to advertise within golf magazines, such as you can see here, Golf Digest and Golf Week. These magazines are already aimed at the older consumers, so we'll be able to get our message across to those. In-store product placement is going to be very important to us because we want the consumers to be able to see the product, feel the product and engage with the product. While there will be only limited online availability due to older consumer preferences, we will be operating a click and collect offer. This is where a consumer can order it online and the 
in fair way probably be delivered to the customer preferred course of our club. On course demonstrations will occur here where, where they will get a chance to try and test them. And finally, we plan on doing lots of event sponsorship, including the Irish Senior Ch Championship, where the winners will all receive a fairway pro. And then we'll pass on to Kevin for the advertisements. So, looking at our first print down here, uh, this is where we, we can see our product being advertised in one of those gauntlets, I guess, by magazines. This is our hard sell, this is where we're pushing the product onto our consumer, maybe for the first time, trying to convey the information and the innovation of the product itself. Here, the product, the price, and the logo takes prominence. We're trying to push the quality of the product, the design of our logo, and the value value proposition of four nine nine for a quality bag and a way around the golf course. That's it. That's a huge plus to consumers, and we can see it as a huge selling point. Now, looking at our more uh, understated approach, our softer sell. This is when we look to build a brand as we are maybe out of the early periods of the launch, and we're looking to build brand equity and pass on our message of the product. This is more the end result we see for Fairway Pro. Three, three generations of the family playing effortlessly together around the golf course. This ad connotes the mobility and the enabling nature of our product, the Fairway Pro, and reinforces our tagline that you should never stop, never stop playing golf or never stop socializing. Thanks very much for your time. We have been Fairway Pro. Never, never stop. stop.